In this video, I'll try to remake Among Us in just one hour. In case you're living somewhere under a rock and you don't know what it is, Among Us is a social deduction game that became extremely popular in the last month. Even now, lots of people still play it. So, I decided to challenge myself and see how much can I make of this game in just one hour in Unity. But before I start, pause the video and subscribe to the channel. It takes you just one second to make my day. As you can see, it is 9 a.m. in the morning and I'm starting the challenge. I started with creating the project and giving it a fitting name. Perfect. The next step was one of the most difficult. I had the choice, either behave like a professional and draw all the needed assets by myself, or try and find them on Google. <clears throat> well, now that we've downloaded most of the game assets we'll need, we can start making the game. First thing that will meet us is going to be the main menu. I tried to make it as similar as possible to the original one. First, I changed the screen color to a space black. Then, from the assets I've downloaded, I slapped the title on this bad boy. Good, now we need a play button. I'll use another button from the asset pack I've downloaded. Boom! We have a button! Time for particle effects! That actually took me the least amount of time out of all elements. You know why? Because I made it with Unity Particle System, a system which allows you to easily create gorgeous and fully customizable particles for your game. Now we need a bin in the middle of the screen. Ooh, kinda thick. Now let's give this bad boy a spin. Oops, too fast. Nice. Okay, seems the main menu is ready. Shouldn't have taken too much time, right? Oh, well, I just need to make the actual game and I have only 38 minutes. Um, let's start! First I've dragged the cafeteria room sprite into the scene. I was unable to find any other rooms on the internet. <laughs> Oops! Same as with the main menu, I've changed the background color to a space black. Let's drag the player sprite and start working on it. Oh, I've also added a circle collider for every table, such that the player won't be able to run on top of them. Attach the camera to the player, making it follow the player. And to make the whole thing prettier, I copy-pasted the particle system I made for the main menu and reused it in this scene as well. Programming at its finest. After that, I made a simple character controller that would allow to move the player with a set speed. Ah, it still got through the tables because I forgot to attach the rigid body to it. Much better. Now, let's add move animations as well as make the player turn in the direction he is moving. Not bad, huh? Then, I quickly made a very simple task system. I didn't have time for any animations, but it has the main mechanics working. When you approach the task object, your use button will become active and you can interact now with the task. It will open a window and if we press the button, the countdown will start. When it ends, the task is finished. Nice! Time for some schnip schnip. The intruder will be mostly similar to the crewmate. However, it will have a kill button. If we're next to a crewmate similar with tasks, the button becomes active and you can kill your enemy. As you can see, I bothered a little, but there is a proper death animation. <laughs> Mama will be proud. <laughs> okay, what time is it? Well, shit. I'm 18 minutes late. Let's see what we've created in one hour. Well, we have a menu. Mm -hmm. With a spinning bin. Okay. We have a crewmate. Uh huh. The crewmate can move and the camera follows. Yep. We also have collisions. Uh huh. And we complete tasks. Okay. We can also play as an intruder. Cool. And kill crewmates. Boom! <laughs> Game done! 10 out of 10. What have I done? <laughs> 